That's him? Right. That's him? Yeah. All right. All right. I can't believe this. All right. Good job, Clarence. Charlie's the one, not me. Well, I think we're doing all of about 10 mile an hour. <laughs> good. Good. Well, it might be a 10 mile an hour slow order through here somewhere. Good, for, good for us. <laughs> High water. Well, it's possible, too. Come on, yeah. sunlight. Yep. Don't be shy. Come on, clouds. Go away. Yeah, he's just barely creeping along. Spoken. Well, that's, that's good. That's good good, good for us. Picture. I think folks stop and do it a while if they want to. Oh. <laughs> I think you give us a tour. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the day. Yeah. Look how slow he's moving. Good he's just spoken. That's good. Good for us. Come to the sun. Come on, son. Trying to warm up on my back. Uh-huh. There you go. Maybe it'll stop for us. Better, say you're gonna stop. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> well, it looks like it, doesn't it? We could go, go, go down. There you go, Charlie. You got the idea.
back to our locomotive, which is on the front, it's the first tier four EP compliant locomotive in the world. So they, the advantages of, uh, of burning diesel, NO, NO2, NO3, we put NH, uh, urea, going on, say, diesel emission fluid, and we convert that to nitrogen gas into an H2O. And that's why we're burning water. And we still get 4,400 horsepower on uh, each locomotive, and we have a locomotive on each end of the train. So we have 9,000 horsepower on every, every train. Track. So this takes off like a bottle rocket. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Gabe, Gabe, Gabe is a specialist on the diesel locomotive itself. He came from Cummings, and he works with us. Yeah. Cool. Stole it right from Right? So so this is the 2x2 two two seating. So it's still the sign seating to provide for Wi Fi. This is from 2x2. So here, so here, right. So you're going to pay for your booze and your drinks in here. So there'll be some with the car service. Second class. Well, not second class, but it's still beautiful. I mean, this is a UK concern. Same seat fish, by the way, 39 inches between here and also the other car. And the same width in the aisle. Yeah. Absolutely. So, like, literally, this is a first class seat on an airline. And this is our second seat, right? So, coach, maybe. Oh. There's a coupler in the front, we can secure it with that. It just doesn't move around. Do you want a picture? Sure, why not? Sorry about that. Okay, let me check my settings here right quick. So you have a contract engineer. He's an okay. engineer. He tried to get him to come with us today, but he decided not to. Yeah, he decided. Oh, he to. he'd talk your arm off. He'd still be telling you my hand here like this. <laughs> We're a little bit close to that. We're gonna back up. Here we go. Okay. Nick, with me in the picture, that someone else is going to take, great. I'm going to put it on social media. Great. Yeah, we'll do it. At least you guys are more social media. I have a tight group of friends that are on my email list. <laughs> email, that tells you how old I am. <laughs> but uh, quite honestly, I'm not in the Facebook. He doesn't know me neither. None of that stuff. That is what sells today. A question for you. Yeah. I noticed that it's not digital on the dash. I mean by... Number, the speed the and what have you, it's still analog looking. Right. And that, what's, the, what's the thought to say? So it simulates, it simulates in like a locomotive like that, right? Where you have right. like the air gauge, the yeah. primary gauge. So we simulate it, but it's all digital. I understand it's digital, but it isn't like in a modern locomotive or car, I would think it has the numbers of the speed, not a Oh, digital. you will. That comes up here. That's on your positive train control. Yeah, that's right, your, that, that happens that's right your, there. That's your PTC. Right exactly, there. right. So that has the crossings, that has the mile yeah, posts, that, that has everything. It has the speed. Slow and, orders. And Right, it's like slow orders, work zones, and it also has like time to stop, right? So if you're going yeah. faster and you're coming yeah. into a 65 to, uh, mile, mile an hour curve, it's going to slow you down or it's going to put you in a hole. Yeah, like you have to comply. So yeah, we got to comply. This prevents those train accidents from happening. On this screen right here, Tom, exactly. that would be the yep. PTC you get screen? A, that's right. You get a penalty application versus an emergency application. That's right. Yeah. Yep. That's what I've heard of two years old. Like yeah. I just say, my Amtrak buddy. Three miles an hour and five miles an hour. I just, I just wanna well, three, 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 plus or minus three. This they, is the, the federal they, code. They don't want you right going now, to no. emergency because yeah. Grandma, grandma falls in her nose. Well, that, and we have uh, you know, beverage carts in the aisle, and we have all sorts of things. So, yeah, we want to come to a slow, gradual stop, not an you know, abrupt stop. But the PTC system eliminates all those risks. And you don't have to worry about it because if you're not slowing down in time, it's going to slow you down. So, so all of the of the right line technology to make it all work, not in the train, but off the train. Right. It's state of the art. You yes. Did, you didn't start out with something that you had to cabbage together to make it work the way you yeah, Absolutely you right. It. So it's a WAPTEC, WAPTEC ITMS system. So it exists. All, I mean, this locomotive ahead of us is equipped with the same system. Yeah. Right. So right. But, you're, is, but you're off the locomotive. All the, all the back of house yeah. stuff, the back office modern, stuff. Modern. All modern. Yeah, all brand new and all like functioning exactly the way it should be. Yeah. And it's a good thing, right? So if there's an well, operator error on that seat, this will prevent it from being crashing to something or going to turn too fast, whatever. So this is the state of the art. Absolutely right. Well, you're, you're and look how comfortable this is. You got an air conditioning system. You've been you got a refrigerator, refrigerator and freezer underneath. Yeah. Well, we'll bring the water. <laughs> you, you've, uh, you've been on the West Coast, so you know about the Capitol right. Corridor. Of you course. So Gene so. Skorpowski is my own boss. He used to run the Capitol Corridor. You know Gene? No, no, no. I. I his friend of mine, who's an Amtrak employee, has worked out in the 
in the West Coast and work the Capitol Corridor, work the Starlight, work the Zephyr from Emeryville to Reno. But when he was working the Capitol Corridor, one of his compadres, all names were remaining, <laughs> but there was a crossover over the capital of the river trains. I mean, look, there's no black sauce. You don't smell diesel burning. Right. So we can convert those fuel tanks. Exactly. Exactly. So you don't have dwell time that somebody gets out right. and put That's a flat. That's why I was going. Exactly. Maintain schedules for the passengers to get with us. It's right. supposed then to be for you. Right. That is amazing. So if you look, when he closes, the door closes and then the gap filler retract. Close the local, so we got a close up. So you're gonna see this goes close and then the gap filler goes in. Right, make sure, make sure that nobody's still on it when the yep. yep. Wow. The other way you Neat. can have somebody in the gap. <laughs> yep. We put cool. 900 pounds on that when we tested it in the factory and it deflected two millimeters. Wow. It's robust wow. as hell. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I'm going to get a picture of you. Hey, uh, Dan. Where are anybody? Jordan, Dan. They left you. Hey, <laughs> come on down take a picture with me with these guys on Lucky Motors. I'll take one, please. 